I refuse to go somewhere and not reveal the goodness of God. I refuse to sit down in a restaurant and not let the waiter or waitress encounter God's power and his love. I refuse. The other night I, I, I said, I told Nicole, I was like, I can't help come home yet. I haven't healed anybody today. <laughs> so I refuse to, to just live a lifestyle of normal. Right? How many have taken the Dave Ramsey program? We're sick of normal. In our culture, normal is bankrupt. Normal is broke. Normal is in credit card debt. That's normal. I'm sick of normal. I'm sick of normal Christianity where you watch other people do it and you read about it in the Bible. Amen. I'm sick of normal. And I'm sick of, of going through how many years of my life not seeing a healing, not seeing breakthrough, not seeing deliverance from depression. I went through 30 some, 30 years of my life without seeing that. Then all of a sudden, the last three got broke loose this crazy anointing of healing. And it's not to just heal people, it's to meet them. Healing leads to deliverance. Deliverance leads to a relationship with God. Listen, I pursue love. This happens. We pursue love. It happens. We're pursuing love. It's the cross that paid the price. There is more power in one drop of Jesus' blood in your fingertip than all of hell can contain. There is more blood in one drop of you praying for somebody with your hands on in one drop of Jesus' blood paid for it all. All of hell can't contain it. He went down, he grabbed the keys, he kicked the devil in the face, and he came back up and gave the keys to us with all the authority in heaven and on earth. Amen. That's my version, and it's much cooler, isn't it? Amen. He did. He conquered death, hell, and the grave, and he came to live eternally so that we could live with him eternally, and every ounce of blood that was shed on Calvary was for you, was for me, was for every single person around us, no matter where we are. So there's power in the tongue. Amen. And I want to just speak life today. 